Brian here with Help Sell My RV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2014 Forest River V Cross Classic 28 VRBK travel trailer with the super slide and the outside kitchen option. Go ahead and start on the inside and then finish up the video by showing you the features on the outside. This is a one owner camper. Go ahead and give you an idea of the floor plan. I'm going to go ahead and apologize. The LP detector is going to go off. I'm guessing it's because the owners haven't had this trailer hooked up for a while. So anyway, go ahead and apologize. All right, you get the idea of the floor plan. This is uh, about 32 foot long, a little over 32 foot long. It does have the super slide. It's about a 14 foot super slide. And it is three foot deep, so this is a true super slide. On the slide out here, I'm going to show you something unique. It's actually uh, the whole slide out is a bunk bed. Uh, this is a jackknife sleeper sofa. Basically, the back and the bottom lay down like a like a futon. I am going to show you a little spot on the couch. It's so minor, uh, but I do find it important to point out. All the fabrics really are in great condition to excellent with the exception of that. I'm going to show you. Breaks down into a decent sized double bed. Easily sleep uh, two, two adults. Of course you have the uh, booth dinette. That breaks down into a bed. You can sleep two adults on that. And you do have a bunk bed, a power bunk bed, which I'm going to show you here little key right here. This is for safety. You can turn it off so nobody can put the bed down or put it up while you're sleeping on it. Turn this key and a little button here. It's gonna rest on this rail here. There you go. And you have sleeping for at least two more grown adults. I'm not sure what they're calling this, but uh, looks to looks like a, a small double bed. Uh, so definitely sleep. Uh, definitely two up here, four down at the bottom here. So you got six and then of course two in the queen bed area, which I'll show you. Definitely a neat feature. These are little pockets for odds and ends, netting to put whatever you want in. So definitely definitely a neat feature Forest River did on this super slide. All your high traffic area is all linoleum like a looks like a, the plank flooring. Definitely a good idea. In your kitchen you have huge amount of counter space. Nice huge sink you do have a three burner gas cooktop looks like it's never been used you do have an oven looks like it's pretty much never been used you do have a microwave we are hooked up to 110 right now and so I always check to make sure the digital readout works Overall, with the exception of the little tear in the fabric on the couch, uh, there is a, uh, one of the gate valve handles uh, are broken, and I'll show that to you, but if a dealer was going to take this in on trade, I think they would definitely 50 cent part on the gate valve, fix that. This trailer would be considered pretty much excellent condition. All right, your refrigerator is going to be a six, a six cubic foot gas electric refrigerator, automatic. All you have to do is press a button, make sure it's on auto, and pretty much don't have to do anything and you're ready to go. This trailer has huge amount of storage, 
huge pantry and whatever else you want to make it I'll show you something on your drawer fronts you do have the uh, full length extension metal ball bearing drawer glides not the cheap plastic guide or just a cheesy metal guide um, residential style guides I'm going to show you this huge bathroom and again you've got huge storage which I'll show you it goes all the way through It's amazing how much storage there is in a, this 32 foot trailer. More storage and more storage. Alright, you get the idea? You do have a nice glass enclosed shower. It's not just a curtain. And some of these starter trailers or entry level trailers, they'll just give you a curtain. Nice skylight. Nice upgraded uh, shower head there. Do you have ducted heat in the bathroom? Ducted heat all throughout, and you do have ducted AC all throughout. I believe that's a 13,000 BTU ducted AC unit. There's your duct work and uh, this does have the quick dump feature so when you get to a campsite and it's kind of hot and stuffy in the camper turn on the AC open up these louvers it quickly dumps out cold air a couple minutes later shut this off and all your AC will be ducted again okay on your entertainment area you do have I believe that's a 27 inch flat screen LCD maybe LED I'm not sure um, you do have on your stereo to Jensen you do have uh, it is of course AM FM stereo uh, you do have I'll show it here DVD CD MP3 ready and you do have a nice USB port right here yeah I apologize for the uh, LP detector all right oh forgot nice radius wall some other manufacturers did that in, in the mid 2000s and I thought it was a great idea but then they stopped and so it looks like Forest Rivers introducing it again alright your master bedroom here of course is a queen bed not sure where the uh, bed covering is there's your V nose up in the front you have uh, more square footage than a regular travel trailer and of course this is more uh, as far as fuel it's more economic show you show you the closet here yeah. I do check all campers for water damage and on this V-nose definitely check up in the front but uh, you're not really gonna have any problems when I show you outside you've got a, a molded front nose on this fiberglass molded nose pretty much eliminates any possibility of having water coming in up in the front area but I do find it important to look for water damage and I did not find any issues I do have one 10 outlet right here little table here if you want to charge your smartphone devices whatever odds and ends you do have a, another one 10 outlet on the other side and a place to put a clock or whatever sleep at machine whatever you decide to do lots of storage up above the bed looks like uh, Forest River is giving you another closet to the left of the bed here yep so definitely a lot of storage space a lot of lighting a lot of windows in this front bedroom you do have uh, another television so this is equipped with pretty much full entertainment package because you do have the outside speakers also which I'll show you but I believe that's probably going to be a 20 inch flat screen and it's on a on a swivel arm here and you are cable ready back here or up here
things about them before. Another cabinet door right there for storage. I'm going to go ahead and show you your central command. These are your lights for the living room. Here's your awning, power awning, which I'll show you outside. Uh, this slide out for the super slide. Here's tells you where you are on, on your coach. It's plugged in. It's showing the battery's full, so maybe the LP detector may need to be replaced. I believe every 60 months they, they, need, they recommend replacing them. Uh, fresh water tank is empty. Black tank or the toilet tank has got something in it or anyway little fluids uh, and then uh, of course the gray tank which is your sink bathroom shower and bathroom sink and it's empty and there's your water heater six gallon direct spark ignition water heater and there's your water pump go ahead and show you the outside of the camper give you another view of the floor plan here okay for a 32 footer, this is actually pretty light. Uh, I'm going to show you. There's a little, I call them little telltale stickers, the little stickers, yellow stickers on the door. Uh, tells you the weight sometimes, and there it is. Dry weight or unloaded vehicle weight is 6,916 pounds. Definitely, uh, this trailer is made for a half ton truck. As I said, this is the aluminum corrugated skin. I did check for hail damage, any dinks like that. Uh, didn't really find any issues. I'll show you this front nose here. Definitely Forest River has done a good job. And uh, they've been doing it obviously pretty well on this V nose design. This is your molded uh, front nose. It's fiberglass molded front nose. It's easier to clean. And of course it's more aerodynamic better fuel efficiency okay you do have the enclosed uh, LP tanks so you're not looking at rusty old tanks these are the the 20 pound tanks dual 20 pounds one on each side you do have the diamond plate that may have been an option protects from rock debris coming up on the camper when you're driving down the road I point out everything if I notice it. Uh, just a little bitty scrape there. You can probably get some gray paint at AutoZone. Just touch it up. Probably talk to the owner and he'll do that. You won't even notice it's there. You do have the manual stabilizer jacks on the front and rear. You have the power. I believe they're calling this a 16-foot power awning. excellent condition all the decals everything are in excellent condition nice bug light as I said you have the outside entertainment package too so you have outside marine speakers nice 110 plug for plugging in odds and ends all your tires are in excellent condition There's your furnace. There's access to service your refrigerator, your six cubic foot uh, Dometic refrigerator. And this, I believe, was an option uh, on this floor plan. But anyway, you have the outside kitchen, full kitchen with the refrigerator. Not sure if they're, what size they're calling this refrigerator. But uh, it's basically, it's a big dorm for it, is what it is. And it's electric. A little freezer up here. Yeah, it's about two and a half feet tall, so give you a good idea on the size. And it's about it's about a foot, almost a foot and a half wide, so, and it's about a foot and a half deep. Okay, nice place to put whatever, and of course your full length metal ball bearing drawer guides. There's your gas grill cooktop. This thing's never been used. I don't even think they've actually cooked in this coach, but uh, anyway, nice uh, LP gas grill. Nice storage. You have a light up there. 
and I guess if it's raining, you could actually use the door as kind of an awning. So anyway, pretty cool. On the back side here does have a bike rack or some kind of a, a rack where you can put it down. Maybe put uh, supplies, whatever, wood, um, you know, generator. And you do have access to a huge storage space. Uh, if you want to see it, come out, take a look at the trailer. And uh, it, it's it's kind of heavy doing it with one hand and trying to hold this camera. So anyway, but uh, it does uh, drop down. And anyway, pretty cool. And you do have a ladder to get up on your full walk-on roof. Give you a good idea on that coach what it looks like from the side rear and they do have max air vent covers over the vents so you can leave the vents open and not worry about rain coming in you pretty much won't need to get anything for this trailer it's ready to go you have a little cotter pins here they go in right here to lock this this tray in upright position. I've got one of the cotter pins here. Anyway. This coach is 30 amp service. Has the 30 amp marine plug, marine style plug, which I'll show you. Give you a good idea on the back side here. Show you that super slide. Okay. You do have uh, everything's pretty much centrally located uh, as far as uh, hooking up when you get to campsite. Uh, outside shower, hot and cold running water with a sprayer faucet. You do have your fresh water fill. I believe this may be a 40 or 50 gallon fresh water tank. Here's your city fill for hooking up. Just hook up to the campsite, hook up your water hose and you're ready to go. There's your dump valves, your dumping station. That is the gate valve handle uh, that I was telling you was broken zoom in on it for you it's a non-issue probably see if the owner can get one at they're about a dollar two bucks they just unscrew and screw a new one on there's your underbelly thirty amp service with a marine style plug you can unplug this Roll up your plug and stow it away and you're good to go. Camper's a little dirty on the back side here when the owner was pulling in the trailer. But uh, anyway, tires are a little dirty. Uh, tires are all in excellent condition pretty much. Show you what I do. When I'm looking at these corrugated trailers, when I get the sun to hit it just right, get the glare, just kind of look for any dinks. And I pretty much went through this trailer. It looks pretty good. With the exception of that scratch on the outside. Uh, and the, uh, the cushion inside. Definitely a dealer would rate this uh, excellent condition. Pretty much showroom. Alright. Okay. Here's your... Uh, I believe that's your phone jack. Here's your uh, cable hookup. Six gallon direct spark ignition water heater. You basically flip a switch on inside and uh, half hour later you're ready to go. And again, huge storage. This is up underneath the bed. And you can actually lift that bed up, uh, the queen inside, and have access uh, from from this storage area too. There's your battery. Looks like an interstate battery. It's green. Okay. That V nose design is a great idea. I hope I showed everything on the trailer. There's a lot of stuff on this uh, on this V cross line. At uh, Forest uh, River does on on this coach. If you want to come and see the camper, just call the number on the ad. You deal directly with the owner. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give Help Sell My RV .com a thumbs up on YouTube. If you want to follow RVs that are going to be coming up for sale 
by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area. You can follow HelpSellMyRV.com on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest. Thank you.